This is the flash update of PMG. This is Biggie 215 speaking, and I don't know why is my voice kind of look like this, but it's alright. It is definitely how I practice when I do such commercials or any other something. Yeah, that is quite good enough. But anyways, it will be talking about uh, a tribute that is uh, dedicated to ABS-CBN and. And remember that I've said it the previous time and hopefully this would maybe my last time to mention this. The first mall show was uh, around July 2018. Um, the time that the classes went suspended. Although the rain didn't come out just yet. Uh, my friend and I just went to SM East Ortigas, formerly Everco Tesco. And again, before I would start the main topic, I will just let you know that Chloe Speaks is coming next year but we'll be having a sneak preview by December 25, part of the Kasikatan Club on this channel. So Chloe is going to um, interview a lot of citizens, including some people from ABS-CBN. Yes, we will include that. All in animation. We'll be doing in an animation way, though we cannot go outside as the quarantine measures are trying to tighten them up so we have to mastermind our skills when it comes to drawing and also i remember that i've been purchasing a lot of abscbn merchandise but more into mnl48 dominated by the photo cards and the album so basically i don't spend much ngayon gastado na talaga ako since COVID-19 pandemic stays here, um, actually, menos gastos muna. I have to spend less or just don't spend it after all. So I bought some t-shirts right there. So we'll be doing this in animation way. Here are the shirts of ABS-CBN from 2018 to 2019. Although 2019 yung pinikalas. I didn't buy anything from the, from this year. As I discovered, new things lalo na ang pagbabalik ko sa, sa pagkakain ng Popeye's restaurant although I cannot eat outside at least sinubukan ko bago na huli ang lahat and here are the list of mall shows that I went there here are the top 10 most memorable moments of ABS-CBN related mall shows Take note that MNL48 isn't affected. Technically, it's just a media partner. But HHE still has them, so it's safe. And also, hindi kasali po ang MNL48 sa listahan na top 10. Though, gagawin po namin in a separate category, which is the same basis, gagawin po natin ang top 10 most memorable moments in MNL48. Kaya, abangan nyo na lang. And also, here are the amazing shots na kinuhanan ko yung sa, sa, sa ABS-CBN mall shows and events. Ito po. O, oh, ba Napakaganda ang kuha. But, yes po. This will also serve as a memorabilia na kung sakali na nakapunta ulit sa mall para sa events nila. Hindi ko talaga na-expect kung paano na bago na ang buhay bilang kapamilya. Mali natin, makikita nyo naman sila sa ibang channel. For example, si Anthony Taberna from DZMM to DZRH. Yung mga guesting ng ilang kapamilya stars. It's either fill in the banks or bawal na game show, makikita mo pa rin sila. Don't worry, it is still there. Hindi pa rin tapos ang kanilang pakarap. Andyan pa rin yan. Forever talaga yan. Imagine some employees are now packing their things as early as possible before they left work but some will continue to fight kahit konti lang ang sahod nila or they transfer to another network. Pwede sila maging freelancer. That's a one good example as I read an article. Tomorrow, it's time to raise our voice one last time before the employees of ABS-CBN will walk away. This is Miggy7215, over and out, Laban Kapamilya.